We start tonight with the unimaginable. Someone going into a graveyard and digging into the grave of your loved one. Well, that is exactly what the Blue Hills family experienced and what the Royal Turks and Caicos Police Force is investigating. Let's take a look. A strange situation, a strange scene. That's what it was when WIV4 arrived at the Bethany Baptist Church gravesite on Tuesday morning after receiving calls that a man had opened his grandmother's grave to the horror of his family. The grave in Blue Hills belongs to Priscilla Rigby, who police say was buried there in 1993. When we got to the scene, investigators were there, with a suspect who we could hear adamantly denying that he did this dastardly deed. Family members called the matter into police. The young man wanted to talk to our crew, but he was in police custody, actually handcuffed, and was denied that opportunity by members of the force. Police Inspector Hilton Duncan, like the other officers, was outraged at the likelihood that this man, said to be Rigby's grandson, could pry open the grave, which sat for over a decade undisturbed and more than five feet in the ground. Tina Walken, who knew Miss Priscilla described what she saw. Well, looking in the grave, you can tell that the tomb has been open and the casket has been tempered with. Definitely someone was in there looking for something. You can't imagine what they'll be looking for. Because once you put your dead to rest, you think they're resting in peace. There was a smell, you can tell there's an odor. Um, the odor is different um, from burying people who's not embalmed. But there's an odor you can smell. It's not a high, but it's a mild odor. The man in police custody has been detained for more questioning. He is believed to be mentally unstable and has yet to be charged with anything. His name has not yet been released. There have been some bizarre speculations on why the man did this. They range from him being troubled by the memory of his grandmother to wanting her gold tooth. None of those reports, however, have been confirmed or denied. Walken heard similar reports and now questions the safety of her own relatives and generations of Turks and Caicos families buried at Bethany Baptist. Yes, Sandra, I have my dad, my grandfather, and other relatives out here, and um, it's making you begin to wonder what's next going to happen. The cemetery is supposed to be a sacred resting place. And when you look at things like this, it sends chills down your spine. Um, one doesn't know what to think next. 